The RG31 Nyala is another armored vehicle entry in the MRAP, mine-resistant, ambush-protected, category offered by Base Systems Land Systems OMC of South Africa. American and coalition experience in the urban fighting of the Afghan and Iraqi theaters of war showcased a market deficiency in well-armored vehicles when entering contested, congested city areas. Regular Humvees were fodder to improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and buried landmines to the point that the series was finally up-armored by both officially sanctioned kits and in-the-field modifications undertaken by crews. As such, the market for MRAP vehicles grew to the point that there are plenty of players on the global market ready to sell their wares. South African experience with such vehicles from past conflicts puts the bay offerings ahead of the pack. The Nyala is a 7-plus ton 4x4-wheel vehicle offering protection for its crew and drive system through a V-shaped hull, armored walls and floor and bullet-resistant glass. A high ground clearance provides excellent cross-country capability. The engine installation varies based on customer and can support a Daimler-Benz, Iveco, Detroit Diesel and Cummins Diesel diesel fueled unit as needed. The suspension system is a full 4x4 and road speeds reach 62 miles per hour with a range out to 560 miles. Dimensionally, the vehicle is given a length of 21 feet, a width of 8 feet and a height of 8.6 feet. The high profile is offset some by excellent vision over the hood and around the vehicle proper, increasing situational awareness some. The driver sights conventionally at front left, aft of the engine compartment, with seating for one to his right. Passengers take up positions over the enclosed vehicle rear and circular firing ports dot the side windows of the compartment. Up to six combat-ready personnel can be carried in addition to the operating crew, some versions seat as many as eight passengers. Beyond the pair of hinged, automobile-style side doors provided for the driver and front passenger, a rear door is added for entry-exit of the cabin by the rear passengers. The RG31 is available in a plethora of battlefield flavors to suit customer needs. The RG31 MK3A is a basic armored personnel carrier APC, variant while the RG31 MK5A follows as an extended hull version of the standard MK5 model. The RG31 MK6E is given an enhanced survivability package and the RG31M provides additional standard features, such as a central tire inflation system, not seen in base models. The RG31 Charger is a named variant in service with the United States Army and is based on the MK3 and MK5 production models outfitted with a Detroit diesel and Cummins engine, respectively. Another named variant, the RG31 Sabre is a cargo-minded form. There is an inherent flexibility in design of the RG31 series and, as such, weapons fits are variable. Some forces used a manned-armored, open-topped, turret mounting a 0.50 caliber heavy machine gun HMG, while others opt for a remote weapon system RWS, approach. Still others feature a simpler, completely open-air 0.50 caliber HMG fit. Operators of the RG31 series include Canada, Army, Police, Colombia, Army, Limited Stock, Indonesia, Iraq, Mali, Nigeria, Single Example, Rwanda, South Africa, Spain, Army, Swaziland, Army, the United Arab Emirates, MK5 version, and the United States, Army, Marine Corps and Special Forces, MK3 and MK5 models used. Beyond its given direct military roles, the RG-31 has been adopted by governmental security forces and has been used in general peacekeeping operations, a stock of 30 vehicles is operated by the United Nations.